I've been trying to upgrade my brain and achieve limitless performance for the past seven plus years. In this unconventional quest, I've came across tools, strategies, and hacks that dramatically impacted my performance. But I've been still looking for this final step to the limitless, this one hack that would get me to the next level. And then I came across this book, Limitless by brain coach and author Jim Quick. Now the question I immediately asked myself was, can this book actually make you limitless? So I decided to read the book and the short answer is, ah, forget it. There is no short answer. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. On this channel, we have professionals achieve peak brain performance. So if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Now, I've recently read the Limitless book and based on the thousands of positive reviews, my expectations were extremely high. I didn't know exactly what I was going to learn in the book, but based on the title and the short summary, I read, I really hope this one is going to deliver some of the most advanced brain hacks to upgrade my brain. I mean, the title of this book is Limitless, so having high expectations is the bare minimum here, right? Well, we'll get back to that. Now, in this video, I want to share a few crucial findings and learnings that had a tremendous impact on my life. I'm also going to tell you a couple of things I really loved about the book. We're going to talk about important things that this book is missing. And finally, at the end, I'm going to tell you if this book is going to make you limitless or not. Now, just before we talk about the learnings, let's clarify what does it mean to be limitless. Now, according to the dictionary, being limitless means being without end or boundary. This practically means you can do whatever you want to. Now, if you watch the Limitless movie, you saw that being limitless means that you can unlock your brain to achieve extraordinary performance, have a photographic memory, and be able to stay focused for extremely long hours. But as you've seen in the movie, being limitless also comes with a set of horrific side effects, especially because such extraordinary performance was achieved by taking an illegal drug, presumably named NZT48. Now, for me, being limitless means having lots of brain power and energy, remarkable focus, stunning cognitive skills, an ability to stay calm and relaxed even in the hardest of situations, and, unlike in the movie, being extremely healthy and living a limitless life without any unwanted side effects. And that's basically what this book promises to help you achieve. But does it really do that? Well, just before we dive into the topic, who is Jim Quick? Have you heard of him before? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, Jim Quick is a life coach, a teacher, an author, and a motivational speaker. He's a self-proclaimed brain coach without any real certificate. Now, as many other self-proclaimed experts, he suffered from a traumatic brain injury at a young age, which resulted in severe struggle in school. Later on, he started relearning how to actually learn to speed up the process and to be more efficient. And that's what led him towards where he is today. Now to the book. Now, this book is divided into four main parts. The first one is to learn how to free your mind and why is that so important. Now, the second one is to create a limitless mindset. The third one is about limitless motivation. And the last one is about limitless methods that can lead to transformation. So first, the good things about the book. Now, if you never read any self-development books and this one is your first one, I promise you, you will be positively surprised. Jim covers a whole range of exciting topics like how to speed read, how to get into the flow, how to boost your memory, how to change your mindset, how to boost your energy, and even how to change your thinking. It's a lot, that's for sure. And for the beginners out there, this must be very exciting. Now, another great thing is that this book comes uh, with some free resources. If you go to limitlessbook.com resources, you're going to find a list of additional tips and hacks. Now, this is nothing compared to what you can find in the Ben Greenfield's book, Boundless, but it's still good to get some additional tips for free. And lastly, each chapter ends with actionable steps, which is a great way to help you take action. You know, just reading a book is actually not enough to upgrade your brain. Sorry. By the way, do you want to know how well does your brain work? Go for our free brain assessment, link in the description below and get your brain performance score. Now, let's talk about the things 
in this book that I really didn't like. First, if you read at least a few cell development books in the past, especially books about their mindset, memory and brain, you're not really going to learn a lot of new things from this book. This one actually reads like a short summary of 20 or 30 books combined. So for the more experienced people, yeah, expect to skip a couple of chapters. Now the second problem is that there are a couple of tips that are completely wrong from the scientific perspective. For example, Jim recommends that before any reading session, you should actively review what you learned in the session before. Now what we know from the neuroscience is that you should never start a new learning or reading session by repeating what you already know. But you should always start by learning something new because that's the best scientific way to increase your awareness and attention, which are crucial factors that will later help you remember more. Now, Jim is also partly wrong about the best brain foods, etc. So there are a couple of things that could be better researched. Now, yet another problem is his constant self-promotion. And there is a lot of that in the book. Now, I get it. The more you promote yourself, the more business you will probably make, but there must be a line. And well, in my opinion, Jim crossed that one. Then there is something that bothers me a lot. And that is the fact that he only briefly covered really important topics like nutrition and sleep. He didn't even talk about brain supplements and nootropics, which are one of the most important things of any working brain. He also didn't talk about the most effective brain hacks, how to protect your brain from damage and much, much more. Now, he was very vague about various types of meditation, breathing exercises, etc. while he shares a lot of different anecdotes and his personal stories. Now, if he would cut all the stories out, or at least half of them, the whole book would probably be just about 50 pages long or even less. Actually, if you don't want to read the whole book, but you still want to get the most important know-how from it, I actually suggest using short form. Now, short form offers the best in-class book summaries and it's going to save you tons of time by skipping the unimportant parts from the book. By joining through my link, shortform.com slash your inception, there's a link below, you will receive five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount on annual subscription. And this will give you access to thousands of books uh, for the price of only one book a month. Now, just before I share my verdict about this book, Let's talk about a couple of important learnings that impacted my life and may change yours as well. If there's one thing that Jim did really well is that he explained how your brain is not fixed and that you can actually upgrade your brain performance no matter your current status. And I'm really happy he did this because this knowledge needs to go mainstream. Now, another great thing is the power of having the right mindset. Now, Jim makes a brilliant introduction to how the right mindset can impact their actual performance. He talks about limiting beliefs and their power. Now, this is not a new concept and it definitely wasn't developed by Jim, but it is refreshing to hear again that you can achieve a lot of things in your life if you really believe in them. Now, he also shares the formula of how to get in the flow. So, if you wanna get in the flow, you first need to eliminate distractions. You need to block some time during the day when you won't be disturbed. You need to define your goals and of course, challenge yourself. Now, this is basically the formula of Mihaly, the author of the flow book. But still, this knowledge is extremely important. So good job, Jim. And the best part for me was the section about thinking exponentially. And the best way to explain exponential thinking is that you should stop making things better, but rather make things different. So you move from small incremental changes to big exponential changes. While this is easier said than done, obviously, the best way to start is by asking radically different questions that may completely change your situation. For example, if you often run out of time to do the things you love, ask yourself, what would you do if the day had only 18 hours? but you'd still want to have at least one hour a day for yourself? Yes, such radical questions are the baseline for the exponential mindset. So, my final verdict. Do I recommend this book? Yes. If you're new to learning about brain performance, then sure, definitely go read this book if you can stand the exaggerations like becoming superhuman, etc. 
But if you already read a couple of books about brain performance, you know, self-development and mindset, then you probably won't learn much new in this book. In this case, you either skip the book or just read the short summary from short form, whatever you prefer. And if you're serious about upgrading your brain performance, then watch my next video up here to learn my best hacks to do so. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.